tree would be in the ground like that. But to be actually up, the, the level of ground would be up here. Okay, so if we were to cut the, the tree there, you, you can see like that. You're, you're trying to get the natural turn in the hurling, okay? So the lads would, would dig down the ground and they'd cut the tree. So they'd, they'd be going into the ground about five or six inches to get the turn in the hurling. Okay, so that's where this, the strength of the hurling is down there. Um, and to go, they'd be knocked in, the butts would be knocked, the older the better. So, in a sense, you'd be looking at anything from 25 years, 30, 35 years. Uh, that's, that's the age that they'd be trying to you'd be knocking. Okay? Um, uh, so, to go to the sawmill then in, in the, as a tree, and the lads would plank it, so to come to me then like this, plank in a plank form. Okay? So, what I do with that then is I'd leave that season then for up to a year naturally seasoned, so it just sits in, sits beside the cows, the cows are in one <laughs> shed and the timber is in another shed, okay, and that'll season away, away then for the year, okay, you do have, there is other conventional ways, like uh, lads will be kindling dry and hurdies and all that, uh, the, they'd put it into like a container, an isolated container, and they'd, they'd, they'd uh, dry out the moisture out of the hurdies, okay, but uh, I find, I'm a carpenter by trade, so I, I would find that, you know, natural way is the best way to do it. It's like if you learn that, you know, if you learn it, learn by hand before you use machines, all that sort of thing. Maybe, you know, if you like count, count your head before you learn to use it with a calculator. Maybe I'm old school, but um, it's kill and dry, like I said, and they take the moisture out, okay, and then the hurdy could be used then within six six weeks of being knocked, as compared to the way I do it, which the hurdy, the plant wouldn't be used for a, a, at least a year later, you know. Uh, so you're giving it, by well, leaving a natural, or season naturally, you're giving it every chance mm -hmm. to uh, to season, okay? Uh, any of you remember Justin McCarthy? Yeah. 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 yeah, well Justin came into Waterford, he brought in this style, right? And any of the pictures you see with cane or brick or any of the lads like that, that's the style they use, okay? You'd mark it out then like a hurdy, okay? You'd put down his template, I'll just show you like this now, so you can all see. And you put the hurley as close to the outside of the tree, which is the you'll see the turn of the, all the grain running along like that. Okay. The, remember the chap you were looking at the, the little bit of bark as this chap, wasn't it? Oh, yeah. Yeah. So that's all it is. It's not a, it's not a defect, right? It's just the fact you're keeping it out closed because you want to, the grain to be running straight along and turning that way. Okay. So you'd mark out the hurley then, like that, okay, like that, and then I'd bring it to a bandsaw, okay, and I'd cut it, cut it out on the bandsaw, okay. She'll end up like that, okay, that's a golden hurley, but it'll end up like that, that thickness, okay. So you can see it's about an inch thick, if you want, whatever weight you want, like, you'll be, you know, like, I'll be playing the hurley, I'll show you now, but I'll be playing the hurley and you'll be like this, like, you know. To, to, so if, if if you want a light hardy, heavy hardy, you can take it off wherever the customer wants. You know, uh, the downside is I need new elbows when I'm sixty. <laughs> <laughs> I'm hoping to get to the sixty. Maybe I might only get to I'm fifty, but uh, so first thing you do, you, you just you you eye it up to make sure that she's straight, okay? And, and then if she's crooked, which she would be, some of the planks would be crooked. You just straighten it out first, okay? So. That's basically what, what we're on about following the, the balance and the feel of the hurley. And literally just going along like that, taking it where you think needs to be.
stacked the timber. The, the, the planks as well, they'd be stacked. They'd, they'd be stacked uh, a tree on top of each other, like, in a, like a, on a pallet, going up the way. So they'd be stacked so that the air goes through. See that corner is not taken off. And you can see that one is. Feel that there. Okay. So you literally chamfer the edge of it. Would you have it like that? The whole key is, is, is taking the edges off. If you can see it, like that. That here, you know, that would be ready to use in a sense. Par for stuff. It's, it's not finished. You know. But the, the whole thing is once you're once you're using the spoke shape, like it's it's taking the rough edge off. Okay. You can feel it there. Okay. So. Literally, then the last thing you do then is is a uh, sand the hurry. <laughs> You have to you have to have the hurdles in a cool dry place. Like, so local just the hot press. Oh jeez, no, that's the worst thing. Right? So when you were saying about the rain and all that, mm -hmm. hurdly I maintain like it na naturally weather itself. So when you're in train and it's, it's it's rain and like that's weather with the rain, right? And if you leave in a cool place, it'll always need a little bit of moisture in it. Mm -hmm. Okay, so it'll naturally weather as long as you're not leaving it in a really dry place where. Like the, the, the hot press right like that, where it's just taking the moisture constantly out. Yeah. Most of the county lads uh, have five, six hurdles going at the same time. It would, yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I'll glue it on, and I'd mark out then the shape of, of the hurdle then, and I'm going to, to, to fix. And I cut it out in the bandsaw. And same thing then, I'd get me a little planer then, and I'd plane it down. And once I have a plane down, I'd, uh, I'd put the, just give a little touch up the sander. And I put the two bands on it in. Standing up position. It's all about balance. 
all right? <coughs> Timing and balance, all right? Probably not too on, like, maybe, you know, hurdle, I guess. <laughs> you should all be able to stand up today. We should see you all stand up at least once, all right? Which is pretty much the goal, just to get to your feet once or twice, all right? Set the hands, boom! Boom. All very good. Sit down, sit down, sit down. Couple of hand strokes. Set the hands, seven, and boom! Up! Up! Woo! Stay low, stay low. Stay low, we're good, we're good. Slightly that way. Alright. Two hands, seven. Two hands, seven. A couple of hand strokes. Set the hands. Remember, into a squat. One, two, three, go! Boom! Oh! Squat, adjust! Oh. Come on, Tom! Fuck. Fuck. Oh, Jesus! <laughs> Tom is drunk. How are you, boys? Yeah. Huh?